What's up? Welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. I'm Bandit Barney, and today we're talking about three things that you should be doing, or have tried, or have done in Red Dead Online. So, to start off, I want to let you know this list isn't some list of things that's going to, like, gain you immense experience, or you're going to get the most amount of gold. This is just a list of some of the most enjoyable things I've found in the online experience and uh, that are kind of unique to the game. So first off, I wanna start with something that we did yesterday, I think we posted earlier today, which is fight clubs. And these are so fun. I found out about them from a Reddit post and I thought, I didn't come up with the idea, but I thought, all right, well, let's try and create a fight club. So I put my mic on and I go in a game and I start, challenging people but i say hey no weapons let's just use our fists you would be surprised by the number of players that you can get to fight you all you have to do is walk up to them and say hey fight me but use only your fists like everyone wants to partake in these it's a ton of fun and kind of challenging to fight other players because the npcs are easy to beat up all everywhere in the game but other players are a different story now, some things to try and get you along this path and get some of your fights of your own is one, you need a mic. It's literally impossible to get in there and try and fight someone with your fists and have them not use weapon if you don't first tell them, hey, we're fighting fists only. I can't tell you how many times I tried doing this, running up to someone and punching them with my fist, and the first response you get is they pull out their shotgun or they pull out their pistol or something pistol whip you and then blow your brains out so <laughs> you need you definitely need a mic for this and there's some upside to it as well aside from it just being one of the most fun activities is that when you go into a town and you have your mic on and you're telling people to just fight you uh if you beat one person and then say something along the lines of like all right who's next or whatever right get other people involved in it i have not found a lobby where i haven't gone into a large city like sandini or blackwater and I go in there and I challenge someone to a fist fight and they fight back and then we get more people that want to come watch and partake. Yesterday we had a, we had an actual fight club in the in Blackwater by the stables and we were just in a circle watching each other fight. It gets really good if you can get a fight club like that together. Using your mic, just getting players involved, fists only, don't pull out a weapon. You can get everyone together like that. You can set ground rules too that make it even funner i think that's a word it may still not be a word but it can be even funner if you have a referee the referee has a gun and he basically kills any people griefing the fight only two people in a fight 1v1 this only and if anyone else joins in or one of the players cheats by pulling out a knife or something the referee gets to kill them it's regulated fight club inside red dead online and it's like it's honestly my favorite experience inside the game right now because you get these open mics between players and you can talk shit to each other and you can just tell them like, yo, like we're going fist to fist and when you beat someone in a fight, you can take pride in that because it's not just button mashing circle or B or whatever. You have to like time your blocks and your parries and your punches and it's a lot of fun, especially when you get like six guys together and they're spectating and you're doing a fight club tournament style everyone gets talking and it's i just enjoy those experiences in games where you kind of get all these different personalities together and you're all having a blast enjoying the same thing so i recommend go try and start a fight club if you have not already simple step use a mic tell people walk up to someone say hey let's fight they'll generally have a gun in their hand say no fists only get off your horse fight me now, when you start the fight, make sure you walk up to each other. Don't just run at each other because then one person will end up tackling the other person. Kind of ruins the fight of or the punching part of the fight. So that is our first thing to do. That's a blast in Red Dead Online. Give it a shot up to number two. Now, you may call this griefing, maybe. And I know personally that when it's happened to me, it's one of the most frustrating things of all. But we're all outlaws in Red Dead Online. And sometimes it's fun to see, hey, what's it like living on the other side of the law? What if I became a copper? 
and help these cops carry out justice because I'll tell you what, they're pretty shit at their job. You go to San Denis and if you load a lobby in San Denis nowadays, almost every single lobby, there's one guy just murdering cops climbing up a ladder. Almost always without fail. You gotta feel bad for him, right? Well, I did. So what I did is I got in, loaded in San Denis, I said, you know what, today, we're not XP boosting, we're not doing any of this shit, we're going in there and we're gonna save these cops' lives. Too many children are being left without fathers. Too many wives are being widowed because people out here are farming police lives. So, go into Sanity, equip yourself with some dynamite. Go next to one of the rooftops where one of these little bitches is perched up on the top fighting helpless idiotic cops. And just send them a little dynamite present. Chuck a stick of dynamite up there. If you miss, that's why you have eight. They only cost a dollar at the fence, so go buy eight sticks of dynamite from the fence and bring some firepower to justice that they just don't have yet. We need to get out there and assert some justice. It's going on too long in San Denis. These players are just desecrating cop lives, and it's just not okay. Now, being on the other side of the stick when I'm hurting a cop or a, I'm, I'm, I'm beating up an innocent civilian and some other player roams in and stops me, it is one's, uh, one of the most annoying things. Guys, I'm not toxic, but I'm honest. And one of the funnest things in a multiplayer game like this is to interact with other players. That's good interactions like you uh, fight clubs that we're agreeing to have. And sometimes that's griefing interactions where we need to help the NPCs of Red Dead Online. So grab your friends, grab your posse, and go out there and help some NPCs. This is going on way too long, all right? This XP farming. We've had enough of it. Get out there and help your neighborhood NPC. Do your part. For our third fun thing to do in Red Dead Online. Find a group of players, okay? Now, I'm not talking about posseing up, all right? Posses, straightforward game mechanic. There's not a lot of risk in joining a posse. You understand? Our third method of enjoyment in Red Dead Online involves risk, like they all do. Sometimes you go to join a fight and you say fists only and the guy pulls out a shotgun mid-fight. Sometimes you go to save some cops and you end up getting hogtied and thrown into the swamp. These methods have a level of risk to them. And this third method is a way of grouping up with other players, but don't posse up. When I've joined a fight club, right, we get all these players together and we're agreeing to do a fight club. Well, after a while, the fight becomes a bore because the players don't have much left to do except for fight the same guy they fought and beat three times in a row. So take your newfound posse to the plains. One of my favorite things to do in this game is to take a group of players that's not a posse. I've gotten up to five players at one time and we ride out and desecrate the lands. Now, if you can find another posse to fight with your unpossied posse, do it. It is so fun. And one of the classic throwbacks is take your pos take your, what do we call it? It's not a posse. I want to have a better name than the posse. That's kind of lame. Take your outlaws to the saloon. Have a few drinks. And if anyone else tries to join in your saloon, hog tie them. Now, when you got three guys against one, it's easy to keep a man hog tied. Keep him hog tied. Take him to a cliff. Question him. Sir, do you want to live? This world, sometimes it's shorter than you think. And enjoy the outlaw lifestyle where, who knows? You might have a mica in your midst, and at any moment he might turn on you and decide to partner with the guys that you thought you were hog tying together. Outlaw posses are better than posses. Now, if you enjoyed this video, good for you. I guess we did a good job over here. Hit that like button, subscribe. 
the world of Red Dead Online is full of wonders. But we can't necessarily access these wonders unless we're willing to inject a little risk into our lives. So when it comes time, participate in a little bit of risk.